Now what do we got over here? All right. Andrew strikes again. These must be the gathering brushes and chains that we've been waiting for. Yep. Okay, so uh, Andrew from WS Ag Center in Darlington uh, has brought us gathering chains for the corn head, for the combine. And what these gathering chains are, they're actually chains with brushes on them. Um, what they're supposed to do is they're supposed to increase, decrease your head loss. And by gathering more of the stuff that goes into the head and reducing the stuff that leaks out by using brushes. So looking from what we got over here, <laughs> that is a heck of a lot of brushes. And I think there's a specific way that they got to go on too. I think the name of these, the brand name is actually 360 Yield Center. Maybe just 360 Yield. These are called 360 Yield Savers. And I guess we got to go through and mount each and every one of these brushes on the new gathering chains. The other day we were harvesting and the sprocket chain came off the sprocket and we had to go replace the sprocket itself and um, these are the chains that go on there so I'm gonna cut this open Andrew's lucky it's a rainy day oh boy so these look a little different than the ones that are currently on there maybe just because the ones we have on there are war but we got to go through and we got to install brushes on here and we have three sets we have three boxes so we're going to do half the combine head uh, we're going to see if we like them or not they say you have to replace them after a couple hundred acres uh, the brushes anyway because they get wore out so we're going to see how we like them and uh, Travis and I are going to put them on today. Man, I wish I could read. Well, obviously the two go here and the one that you had goes here. I think there's two holes on that one. There's one hole in here. Install 360 yield saver by gathering chains by routing them over the sprockets, blah, 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 blah. Do we have to put the bristles on or after? On before or after? On the what? Do we have to put the brushes on or after? on or before? Looks like they're putting the chain on after they're already on. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go with an age old statement. Red goes to red and green goes to green, dude. Yep. Oh. Is that tip magnetic? So we got the first chain done. There's what it looks like. So there's not a lot of room for error. <laughs> mm. Got all the brushes put on. It's a giant pile of plastic and metal. Yeah. I'm gonna pull the combine out, spin it around, so that way we can see the head. And we're gonna start taking off the gathering chains on three of the rows, and start mounting the brushes. cool with this GPS monitor that we got from uh, WS is that 
looking at the farm that we were last working on, we're not done with this one yet, but you can see here that there's some pink in there, and I believe that scale is between zero and 195 bushels. So uh, it still yield, it yielded, it just didn't yield quite as well as everything else. Here's Andrew now. Um, but this spot here, we had actually bulldozed. We took out a fence line that went right along there and wait a second yeah this is all new the fence line was over here and here's some shallower soils that empty spot right there is a waterway and on, then on each side of the waterway it's pink so the shallow the soils were shallower there and using this monitor helps us see things like that which is pretty cool um, like I said, this thing isn't going back. Well, at least the monitor is, but all the equipment with it, we're gonna keep it. <laughs> we, we couldn't imagine going back without the yield monitor because it allows us to see so much more stuff than we could, could before. And uh, it helps us look for any problems that we might be having. So we're gonna get to work mounting these chains. Tell us about it. Uh, basically what we're doing is uh, we're putting these yield saver brushes on uh, these row units. We're going to do half the head so we can do a side-by-side -side comparison of what grain we have on the ground where we're running the brushes and then um, the standard uh, gathering chains that the John Deere head has on it. But the principle behind this is we want to create uh, a, a lack of space in between these deck plates so that we're not losing kernels down to the ground. These brushes are designed to catch some of the loose kernels, the nubbins, uh, ears out there, bring them all the way up the head. And, and they do a really good job. Uh, 360 yield center started by Greg Sauter. He's gone through a lot of tests, a lot of different concepts. Uh, the, this whole concept started out as these rubber paddles that brought it in, but there was just too much wear on them. Really? So the rubber paddle, you know, you're, you're still stripping all your corn stalks through, so you got to have some give in it. The rubber paddles just didn't last as long. These brushes are designed to still be effective up to about 200 acres per row unit. Hmm. So if you have a six row head here, uh, should be, you know, at about 85% um, savings of kernels on the ground once you get to 1,200 acres of corn run through the head. And um, I'm sure you'll see the chains here um, in the mm -hmm. video uh, running, but um, even when the brushes are completely worn down, you still have a, your same gathering chain. So yep. um, you, you never are at a worse scenario than what you are now. Uh, they say about 1.8 bushel of grain per acre is saved under normal operating conditions. Everybody's operate, operating conditions change. The corn dries down. You have some wetter corn, drier corn. Um, stocks are going to be different and things like that. But um, typically, you know, at $3, 3 and maybe $0.10 cent corn right now, um, you're going to pay for, for these pretty quick in the season. And uh, it's good, good uh, return on investment. And just one more thing we're trying to do to uh, be the most efficient as possible, collect all the grain out of the field. And, yep. Um, helps with the volunteer corn situation next year too. Hmm. Yeah, cool. So, but uh, right. have they ever tried? Do you know? Have they ever tried using like wire, wire brushes? Not that I know of. Uh, there's been a couple other companies out there that have tried different concept ideas. Uh, the biggest thing with the wire brushes, I think, is that Damage. they would bend down and not come back. True. So you want something that still maintains most of its shape when the corn stalks are getting stripped through. Okay. And you'll see once these brushes are put on, they're going to be straight across like they are now on the chain. Um, once the brushes are put on and run a little bit, these are going to tend to bend down. Yeah. Um, but they're still going to uh, crisscross each other. And when they're fully worn, well, then you're going to start seeing that gap in between them. Yeah. 
okay. but uh, you know, the bristles that they've used, um, these are pretty strong bristles. Uh, there's a couple different links there on the chain. And, and they've run trial after trial. I know they ran these in Texas on some really sandy fields. Uh, they started running these, I believe, down in uh, uh, New Zealand initially, some of their concept designs just to try to get this out to the consumer faster. Hmm. And that's why okay. you're here. Yeah. That is why I'm here. <laughs> Here we got them all set up. Now uh, we're gonna put the snoots back on, probably run it just to make sure nothing explodes and uh, should be good. Uh, you can kind of see what difference they would make because I basically can't see the ground <laughs> looking through these ones. And looking over here, you can see straight down through there. So hopefully this serves as kind of like a platform for any of the corn kernels so they don't fall off. All right, we're about to start it up. Have a closer look at how it runs. Now you can see the corn kernels that were there. Compare what the corn kernels do. A little dusty. The reason there was corn sitting in the head was because last night uh, we went to unload in the truck and the trucker left his door open, but it's no big deal. Accidents happen. So what we did was we took uh, forks, not forks, but a shovel and just shoveled it into the head of the combine. And then it'll work its way through it. We're not worried about it. Tomorrow or whenever we can start shelling, we are going to be doing a field demonstration, you could call it. And we're going to be taking the head out. We're going to run it out in the field. We're going to harvest a path. We're going to shut everything off and then we're going to back up. And we're going to flag what was done with the seed savers whatever they're called. I can't even think of them right now. It's so cold out here. But um, with the brushes, and then we'll compare them uh, to the side without the brushes and see. Uh, what we'll do is we'll mark off an area and count all the seeds on the ground and compare to see how much it would be saving us. So hopefully that we can do that either tomorrow or the next day if the weather holds out. We'll see. So uh, thanks for watching this video, guys. Be sure to check out all of our other ones. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And be sure to check us out on Facebook, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat, all farms work. So we'll see you next time.